Right, so now we want to take a look at the CDF for continuous random variables. So the cumulative distribution function capital F of X of a continuous random variable X with probability density function small f of X is defined as shown below. So the cumulative distribution function, which is the probability that X is less than or equal to the particular value of the random variable can be expressed as the integral of the density function from the lower limit to that of x, okay? And this must have the following properties. One is that the CDF is a uh, event which lies within an interval of zero and one. Also, if x1 is less than or equal to x2, then the CDF of x1 will be less than or equal to the CDF of x2, okay? And this basically means that the CDF is a decreasing function which satisfies the monotonicity of the function, okay? Also, um, the limit as x approaches um, the value below the lower limit, the CDF will be equal to zero. And as x approaches a value from the uh, beyond the upper limit, for the random variable, the CDF will be equal to one, okay? Also, the CDF is continuous everywhere. So these are the four main properties or conditions for the CDF of a continuous random variable, okay? Now let's take a look at this theorem. If X is a continuous random variable, then the probability that the random variable lies between two values, A and B, can be expressed using the CDF. So this is equal to the CDF of the upper limit minus the CDF of the lower limit of the random variable, okay? And also, if you have a cumulative distribution function and you want to obtain the corresponding probability density function, then you can actually use equation four, okay? So once you have a cumulative distribution function, I want to obtain the corresponding probability density function, then you have to take the derivative with respect to x to get that, okay? So we are going to take an example and see how we can do this. So a continuous random variable y has a PDF given below. I want to obtain the distribution function, which is the same as the cumulative distribution function, okay? So let's take a look at the solution. So, um, for the value of the random variable which runs from minus one to two, this is how we can express the cumulative distribution function, okay? So once we take the integral from the lower limit to that of y, we have to integrate this. Once you integrate this, you obtain this, okay? Once you input the values, you're going to obtain this, and this will give you that, okay? We can factorize one out of three out. So once we do that, we are going to obtain this, okay? So we can generalize our solution in this form. So we know that if the value of the random variable is um, below the lower limit, we're going to obtain zero. And if the value of the random variable is beyond the upper limit, we're going to obtain one, okay? So this is how we can express the CDF in a piecewise form, okay? All right. So now let's take a look at the next example. In this example, we have the CDF and want to obtain the PDF, okay? So a random variable X has a distribution function given below, which is in a piecewise form. And we want to obtain the probability density function for this. So how do we do this? We can use the second theorem equation for to actually obtain this, okay? So we know that if X is less than or equal to uh, minus one, um, this is how we can obtain the um, PDF, okay? But we know that we don't have any particular value at this point. So if you take a look at this, when it's less than or equal to minus one, it's zero, okay? So in here, we are just going to take the derivative with respect to zero and that will be um, zero, okay? Now, if X lies within this interval, we can obtain the CDF, we can obtain the PDF using this and the PDF at this, within this interval is this, okay? So once we take the derivative, we're going to obtain this, all right? Okay. So if X lies within this interval, this is how we can obtain our um, PDF. So the PDF within this interval is this, okay? And once we take the derivative with respect to X, we're going to obtain X, okay? This is similar to that, okay? So um, in general, we can rewrite our PDF in the piecewise form, okay? So this will be for the interval between minus one and zero, this is the 
on PDF and the PDF will be in this interval like this. So anything outside this interval also be zero, okay? Right. So um, this is basically how to obtain the solution for this example. So this is going to be a trial question. I'm going to leave the solution in the description of this video so you can check it out. Please, if you find value into this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And thank you for watching.